a renowned physics professor, a businessman, and an insurance agent. They were all busted for hiding cameras in women's locker rooms. We found cases across America where locker room perverts are using cell phone cameras or miniature cameras like this one. Mia Walker is on her school swim team. Before practice, she changes into her swimsuit in this locker room at the Lakeview Recplex in Pleasant Prairie, Wisconsin. I was just standing there, I was like, Mom, what are you looking at? And she was like, there's a camera in there. And I was like, what do you mean? Mia had no idea that for four months, this woman was secretly videotaping her and the other youngsters getting undressed in the locker room. I can't believe that. Um that happened to my own kid. The camera was discovered by pure accident by Mia's mother, Christina, and this is the very moment when she realized something was wrong. The video obtained by Inside Edition shows mom sitting on a bench in the locker room waiting for her daughter to change into street clothes. All at once, she notices the glare of a lens coming from one of the lockers. I was in shock, like absolute shock. So who planted the camera? It's hard to believe, but it was another mom. Her name is Melissa Wenkebach. I just thought, how could a mom do this to another mom? This video actually shows Wenkebach in the act of setting up the hidden camera. Watch as she tries to position it inside the locker for the best view. So we would try to conceal them in either makeup bags or in gym bags. Detective Laura Hoffman showed us all the cameras they recovered after busting Wankenbach. 25 of them, all containing secretly recorded locker room video. It was really hard on the victims because we had to show them the videos um, and the images so that they could identify themselves. <laughs> Wankabach admitted everything, but says the video wasn't for her. She was having an affair with a guy who got a sick perversion out of watching the material. He just says he appreciates, like, looking. He just doesn't hurt anybody. His name is Carl Lant, and you can see him prepping a camera, which he later gave to his mistress. It was like organized crime, like they had a system. Altogether, Lant was found with over 20,000 hours of voyeuristic videos. So definitely awful to think about that people just would do these types of things. Mia and her mother teamed up, going on a personal crusade to help strengthen the law against peepers who spy on children. You can change a law. That's what we learned. You know, we were a team of two, and we went in with one mission to strengthen the punishment of the crime, and we just didn't stop until we had what we wanted. They both bravely testified before the Wisconsin legislature, demanding that lawmakers take action, and take action they did. In this photo, you can see Mia and her mom posing with the governor as he signed the new law. For Mia to go to Madison and speak in front of all those people in order to try to get this law changed, She's absolutely brave. I'm very proud of her. I think that speaks a lot of her character. And going forward, I have no doubt that she'll change the world. He was sentenced to 12 years, she for six years, thanks to the very observant eye of a mom protecting her daughter. Today, Mia has this sobering warning. Watch your surroundings when you're going into a locker room. You don't know what might be in there. You don't know what people might be looking around at you.